Hey guys, welcome back to VV Crazy Tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can keybind your program and make hotkeys for your button. So, in previous tutorial, I made a calculator where you could interact with the button using mouse click. But there is an option for a keyboard shortcut or hotkey. So, I decided to make a tutorial on that so that you can implement those actions in your software. So, let's get rolling. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I have already created a background for this, just like a mini version of that calculator. So in this one, I have a text box called show numbers um, underscore txt and three button called button one, button two, and button three. Also, this text box read only property is true. And also, there is something that this is very important because it's not gonna work until unless you make the form key preview property to true. So make sure that is true. All right. So now uh, let's just double click on the form. Okay. So we have to change this form load to form key press event. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to this, click on this little uh, down arrow sign and then go a little up and then there is a key down and key press event. So I'm just going to use key press and then delete the form load. Okay. So in the key press, um, there is a, a event argument called E. So as you can see, system windows form key press event argument. So this E is going to help us to make all this kind of key binding effect. Key press event argument contains all the information about your keyboard buttons as index numbers, such as A equals 65, B equals 66, C equals 67 or 1 equals 49, 2 equals 50, 3 equals 51. If you want to use this argument in Visual Basic, then you have to use e.keychar, and that's going to give you the button name as a string. If you want to use its index number, then you have to use AC before that to get the value as an integer. Then you can compare that with the key dot the hotkey you're not assigned to. Key dot hotkey command gonna give you the index number as integer as well so keep that in mind all right so hope you understood how that's gonna work so let's just implement those stuff so if e dot key char is equals to keys dot a then uh, a message box is gonna say it's working okay next what I'm gonna do is as you can see this e char uh, it's uh, showing me error it's because this e dot char key char is a string it's not a, a integer so this index number as I explained um, earlier that this index number should be uh, integer so to convert that just uh, type sc and it's gonna convert that to an integer and then it's gonna com compare that value to the key binding you just set so now let's test this out so as you can see if I press A it's working alright so this stuff is working so next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double click on the uh, one button and then I'm gonna say show number underscore txt dot text is equals to one and then just like the previous tutorial about calculator I'm just gonna copy this and paste it just right before plus one so what it's gonna do is gonna give us the effect of multiple digit number but this is there is a zero before that so we have to fix that so to do that it's a simple fix as I told you before that show number underscore txt dot text is equals to zero then show number underscore txt dot text is one else it's gonna do its stuff normally so I'm gonna cut and paste it there so let's just test yeah so it's working now it's uh just got rid of that zero so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say 
this I'm just gonna delete this message box and just gonna say button one uh, dot perform click so it's gonna perform that click uh, for this button whenever I press A well uh, you, I'm not gonna press A I'm just gonna press one on the keyboard which is D1 alright so yeah it should work let's just test this out so if I press one it's coming one and I can do that using mouse also yeah so next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on the two and it's going to give us the, um, the sub so I'm just going to copy this section and then paste it over to the button two and then I'm just going to go over to the button three and then double click on it and then paste it there also so there we have to just change that show number is two and show number two three and also uh, this one to two this one to three all right so hopefully that's gonna work for us let's just test this out and see so if I okay another thing is we have to change the uh, key binding so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, copy this part uh, not th that one I mean this one uh, where it says form one key press I'm just gonna copy this paste uh, two times and then I'm gonna change to D2 and D3 all right oops D2 and D3 okay and this one is button 2 and button 3 so let's just play all right so if I press 1 on the keyboard it's working and let's test 2 and 3 yeah both are working fine and also I can add numbers using my mouse all right so our software is working yes so guys uh, that's it for today hope you learned something from this tutorial and you can implement this to your software and if you like this video guys just give it a like and if you have any doubts or suggestions just comment below and I promise to answer you back so guys I'll see you in the next tutorial and make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends families and Facebook and make sure you click on this little bell icon that's gonna send you a message whenever I make videos in future